Hey guys, welcome to Top Threes. Top Three, been having a great show today. Mm. Talking to our good friend, I'm gonna mess up, mess it up. It's Esteban, right? Is that how you yeah, say it? I didn't know that was enough, es yeah. I didn't know Esteban they, was Steve they, in Spanish. They, they, they. I had you no can, idea. You can switch those Is up. that? Yeah, I guess so. That's what I that's prefer, what he said. I prefer the name Esteban. Yeah, I love that. I call I love him that. Esteban. I call you kept calling him Steve. Well, you call him Esteban. Steve. Esteban. Yeah. Because you thought it. Esteban. Cool. No, Esteban. Esteban. I, I, I whenever love I think Esteban, name. though, I think about the classic guitars that you can see at mm -hmm. late night on TV and you can buy the, the Esteban guitars. Oh, yeah. Do you ever watch that? Oh, the guy no, with the fingernails. Yeah, that or I think of Chad Ochocinco Esteban. Never mind. Anyways, he's a football player. But uh, today we'll talk a little bit about uh, urban ministry and a little bit about going out into the city and reaching people. And I just love the ministry that these guys are doing. And they're taking young people, they're taking 20-somethings, and yeah. they're training them for what I think is real-life ministry, where, you're, where your hand is to the plow, you're out in the city, you're out in the field, you're actually really doing some real work. And they're going out at and the all hours of night going into the city doing some real tough stuff. Reaching some tough, tough, tough audience. It's a battlefield it is, man. out there, guys. Tough. Yeah. Gang, <laughs> it is, gang I mean, members. I don't know if you saw that video, man, but I don't, I did. I don't know if I want to go to some of those areas. Yeah. But it kind of... I, I go to some of those areas all the time. Might, I bet you do. You fit in. No. Kind of sparks some ideas. That one time we got ideas. lost we got off the highway. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But I don't, I don't remember you having your Bible out saying, witnessing to people. It you, was remember, you put in, the windows up. It was <laughs> inward prayer while I was walking Like, I knew I should have tended my windows. But it's making me think, it's like, uh, there's so many areas today where it always like there's different strategies for different areas. And mm. I, I've always thought that the message stays the same, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes the tactics in which you bring the message, it has to change a little bit. It has to be maneuvered. And, you know, I think even right here, there's four of us that are all preaching the gospel in our own way in different arenas. But I, I think that different places that you go, you, you have to change it a little bit. You have to change the strategy. Well, any, any comments about that at all? I mean, like, your whole thing is like the J. Crew scene. You I know, knew like he was going to do public. something like that. <laughs> you know, Reba and I, we're kind of like more into, like, you know, the street yeah, yeah, yeah. culture. I mean, you know? if I were They're in such Connecticut. They're hip-hop fans, yeah. you know. I, was, yeah. <laughs> I knew he was, I knew, I knew I set him up to say something really, really dumb like that. Any comments about that? Yeah, yeah. He's going to go, well, you're the J. Yeah. Number one, I'm yeah. not the J. No, crew. I think that there's definitely some different ways. I mean, obviously, many ways you can, I mean, music is huge. That's mm -hmm. a huge thing. And, like, everybody, yeah. there's so many different types of music. Obviously, these guys are ministering through music. There's there's hip hop groups, there's rock groups, and all yeah. that. Um, I think another thing is like uh, fashion. It, yeah, fashion's a you huge. You got one. It, yeah. the fringe people. There's so many different it. Christian clothing companies coming out. That's yeah. what I've noticed. Like, and all the, all of them kind of look like affliction or something like that. Like Ed Hardy. For sure. Can we say that? Yeah. Yes. We love that. Okay. Good. Yeah, so I mean, like all these different Christian clothing companies coming out, and you know, these kids are sporting it, and people are asking, "What is that?" Oh, this is the, mm -hmm. you know, and it just opens doors. You know, what's another one? Um, Even some companies will put scriptures on their bags, so yeah. they do it, it. It's a little more discreet, totally. but they're still trying to represent in a True. way. True, I think sports is a huge thing. Yeah. Like we've interviewed a, a number of people yeah. that have, you know, started youth groups, started all the different kinds of organizations around a sport. Or or surfing, snowboarding, whatever, exactly. extreme sports, well, I, I think one of the cool things about this generation that we're living in right now is that we have so many different ways to leverage technology to reach people. And, and yeah. one of the things I'm just loving to see is how the internet's being used in such a, a mighty way these days to really get to places that it could never go before. And, you know, part of the, the, the future, I think, is, is getting the whole world to know about the gospel. And that's part of what the Urban Training Center is about. It's about reaching the nations. And we really have the opportunity to do that. But uh, once again, I, I think that different areas, and I, and I, I want to get some feedback from Reba here. I think some people today have a problem. I just feel like there's people that can be very, very critical about if you don't package the gospel a certain way, then it's the wrong deal. But I think that the church that you go to it probably wouldn't, it doesn't really flow very well in South Central, you know what I'm saying, or in Compton. What can we do as Christians? Are you trying to say Christians? something about my pastor? No, no. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, he's, I think. He's actually doing, he's got a crunk ministry. Does he? Yeah, yeah crunk. crunk. There's like, you can't even say the name right, you know? <laughs> no, it's not my ministry. I know that, I know, ministry, for instance, mine, okay? we, we, we pastor in North Miami in an area, and it's very, it's urban, and it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's young people. And we've had to use different tactics that we've been criticized for people to try to get into those areas. Uh, and I'm wondering, I mean, yeah. what do you guys think Different about areas that? and different demographics yeah. have different problems, different issues, yeah. things that are real to them. You know what yeah. I mean? They have their own reality. You know what I mean? You may not ha you know, have the same issue if you're from Sherman Oaks and you're, or if you're from you know, Inglewood or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? But I also think like the younger generation and our generation, and we still deal with issues of insecurity and identity. So, I mean, that's kind of you know, everybody's gonna have family dysfunction. Some might have more than others or have different types, but um, I mean, I, I think drugs is a problem no matter what, you know, but class you're in. But it can be, I know what you're saying, but it can be like, it can be a little different. I don't know if you guys saw the movie Precious. Yeah. Super intense movie about some of the um, problems that can happen in a, in a 
really the, the epitome of dysfunction yeah, and, sure. and unhealthy urban an right urban situation. Synopsis. Yeah. And so that's going to be like so much different than even the worst situation in maybe another neighborhood or maybe another type of family because you're not you don't have so many issues piled no, on top of each other. No, it's true. You know, like you know. Po poverty, abuse, right. adultery, dis divorce. You know, you, you, once you start piling the issues really deep, it takes a special yeah. person or and a I special it, way to really sure. be able to, to relate to all those at one time. Yeah. It goes outside of issues, though. It's not like what's wrong and what do we need to preach to and about. It's like, what are these people interested in? You know what I mean? If you go to yeah. a certain area, maybe it's like a real indie crowd and they're all yeah. into like, you know, wearing skinny jeans and like sure. they want to hear this, a certain kind of music and they're into certain hobbies like painting maybe or, you know what I mean like stuff yeah. like that and if you go to the country crowd you know what I mean they're all into a different thing and yeah. you go you know what I mean so I mean it's it's not but all I, about I issues do, and problems but I do think sometimes that some of the issues that we are that we you know confront in the inner city sometimes creates a thicker 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 layer that creates a harder way to reach people sometimes because of all the junk that they've gone That's through. That's true. Huh. Yeah. I mean, you get, you get what I'm saying? So I, I, think, and I think that you're right. I think that there's a lot. I think that obviously, in a second, you're about to read a great scripture, but I think, it, I think obviously Jesus is the answer, but I think that other things have to counteract and be a part of that to help people. You know what I'm saying? If you've dealt with true sexual abuse your whole life, if you've grown up in poverty life, you're going to need some education. You know what I'm saying? You're going to mm -hmm. need someone to talk to and to counsel you. And I some home Jesus, training. For sure, though, right? I mean, yeah. for sure, you know? Uh, one of the things that, that was so impressed me as I was watching that video today, just from the Urban Training Center, is I was watching a young man out there with a megaphone, and he's preaching to all these guys going by, all these yeah. gangsters, and he's preaching saying, you know, Jesus saved me from the inside out. And he's talking about the fact that he doesn't have to get high anymore, that once he encountered Jesus, Jesus filled the hole in his life. And I think that's just so true. I think that no matter where you're at in life, no matter what you're going through in life, no matter what your background and circumstances, I really do believe that Jesus is the thing that fills the hole. And how do we know that Jesus loves us? Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And one of these great scriptures I was just reading uh, this past week in Colossians chapter 2, verse 13, says, When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the written code with its regulations that was against us and that stood opposed to us. He took it away, nailing it to the cross. And no matter what you've done, no matter what you've gone through, no matter where you came from, today, when you accept Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross, it was the finished work, man. He nailed every sin every insecurity, every failure to that cross. And today, when you accept Jesus, wherever you're at, whether you're in the inner city, whether you have good parents or bad parents, whether you have money, whether you're poor, we all need Jesus to cancel the written code that was against us, which is called sin. And today, when you accept him, that's the beginning. I'm telling you, friends, that's the beginning of a journey in Christ where you are fully alive. Now, for some of us, that journey, we're going to need other people to come along in our life to help us on that journey. But the initial thing, the initial start is you accepting Jesus, you accepting the free gift that he gave you at Calvary. And today, if you're watching this program, and I just felt today as we, as we were talking that I thought there's people watching right now that don't know Jesus. Um, maybe you've heard the name Jesus spoken before, but you've never met Jesus, you've never encountered Jesus. Let me just tell you, right where you're at right now watching, sitting there on your couch, you can meet Jesus. You don't have to be in church right now. You don't have to be listening to a pastor with a tie and a microphone. You can meet Jesus right where you are. And right now, I just want you to close your eyes for a minute. And I want you to take a moment and I want you just to begin to call upon the name of Jesus. And I want to lead you in a prayer. The Bible says that to all who received him and believed in his name, he gave them the right to be called sons and daughters of God. And today, in just a few moments as you pray this prayer, you're going you're gonna to open your eyes and you're going to be in a brand new relationship with Jesus Christ. You're going to be made alive in Christ. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Dear Jesus, today, Lord, I ask that you'd forgive me of my sins. I ask that you take all my sins away. Lord, today, I ask that you come into my life and be Lord of my life. Lord, I want to live for you. I want your will and not my will. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, amen. I'm telling you what, as you pray that prayer, that's just the beginning, friends. That's just the beginning of God beginning to work in your life. And what we want you to do right now is we want you to get on the website, jctv.org, maybe, maybe you're watching us right now on the web, and we want you to send us a letter telling us about what God is doing in your life. And we want to be able to resource you, telling you about some churches that are in your area, uh, helping you get plugged into a youth group possibly if that's what you need. And uh, we just want to be here to help you. So we love you guys. And uh, we just want to thank you so much for tuning in today. God has got so much in store for you. Check out these websites at the bottom of your screen. So many great guests on today. We had the SOG crew and uh, Dynamic Twins. Go to their website. Also, we want to thank Esteban and all the people over there at UTC. Go to their website. Visit us at jctv.org. Don't go anywhere. A lot more coming.